If the Big Bang were an explosion, think about what happens when you have an ordinary explosion. First of all, there's going to be a center to that explosion. And you're going to know there's a center to that explosion because as everything leaves the center of the explosion, things which are more massive are not going to travel as far as the things that are less massive. So in fact, when we try to understand after an explosion where the center of the explosion was, that's what we do. We look around at the shrapnel and we ask, how is it distributed? We can re reconstruct the center of it. If you believe that was true about the Big Bang, we should find that massive galaxies are traveling more slowly than less massive galaxies, and we should be able to reconstruct the center. That is not what's happening in the Big Bang model. It turns out the motion of galaxies doesn't depend upon their mass at all. Their apparent motion only depends upon how far away they are. So what's really a better, a better picture of what you're talking about is space stretching. So if space is stretching uniformly, what's in that space, whether it's massive or not massive, moves away from us due to the stretching by the same amount. In fact, it moves, appears to you, move by an amount which, you know, if you're stretching uniformly, uh, the farther away it is, in the same amount of time it seems to move farther than the nearby stuff. So in other words, if you stretch by a factor of two, things that are one meter away end up two meters away. But things that were, say, 10 meters away look 20 meters away. So it looks like they've moved t 10 times as far, I mean, much farther in the same amount of time. That's actually what we observed. That's what Hubble observed. He observed that distant galaxies, doesn't depend upon their mass, but depending upon their distance, seem to have a recessional speed, a speed away from us, that's proportional to their distance. That corresponds to a stretch. So what the Big Bang should really be called is the Big Stretch. That it's a, it's a, uh, and what's big about it is at the very beginning it's a very rapid stretch and then that stretch for the next period of, substantial period of time has been stretching ever more, at an ever more slow rate.